Hello and welcome back people of Earth to another tutorial on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about installing a mod pack through the CurseForge launcher. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the CurseForge website, which will be the first link in the description. Up in the top right hand corner of the screen you'll see a button that says Get CurseForge App. After you click that, come down to the button that says Download Standalone. On Windows there's two different options, but you'll want to download the standalone. On Mac, double click the installer. Then drag the CurseForge app into your Applications folder. On Windows it will bring up a dialog. Select that you have read the Terms and Privacy Policy and click Next. Then it will install CurseForge. After it finishes installing, it will bring up a dialog box. You can skip this or go through the different things it has to tell you. Next, click on Minecraft, click on Browse Mod Packs, and this is where you can scroll through and find whatever mod pack you want to play, or go to the top and search for whatever mod pack you're looking for. Then you'll want to click Install. While we're waiting for the mod pack to install, we'll go down into the bottom left hand corner and click on the Settings cogwheel. Click on Minecraft and scroll down to the bottom where you'll find the Java settings you'll want to bring the allocated memory to around 8,000 megabytes. You can close that out and we'll wait for the mod pack to finish installing. Once that's finished, you can click play. That'll open your regular Minecraft launcher. Make sure you have Java Edition selected and then you can click play. There'll be a dialog box that opens. You can click this box to just indicate that you know that you are playing modded, which is the point. This is why we're downloading a mod pack. Lastly, let me show you how to update a Minecraft mod pack. When there's an update available for your mod pack, you'll notice that beside the play button, there's a small arrow symbol that says change version. If you open up your mod pack, you'll see the same symbol beside the play button there. When you click on it, you can open a drop down that will let you choose which version of the mod pack you want to play. You can update the mod pack to a new profile as a backup, just in case the update messes anything up. Then click continue at the bottom of the screen to install the update to your mod pack, and you're all good to go.